What's going on guys? Today is going to be a tips and tricks video. Much different format from what I usually do, but hopefully this is uh, something you guys enjoy and something we can do more of. Alright, let's get it started. If you use Celestial Spear or Celestial Smite, you can press F right away to go into an instant F jump. If you have your grab hotkeyed to your mouse or a different key, you can use it out of awakening. The entire animation up until right about now of F jump is all super armor. I'll show you once again. Pop the F jump. This is all super armor. You can let this ride out without getting CC'd, except grab. If you have your just counter bound to your hotbar, and you use deathline chase backwards, and use your just counter on hotbar, you can use it out of a deathline chase back. Trying to do the button combo for just counter on a regular basis out of deathline backwards, you would just do a forward slash. So it's somewhat stamina costly, but it is a very good gap closer or gap opener. You can actually use Righteous Charge directly into a shield chase to either close the gap or open the gap very quickly. Shield chase or deathline chase sideways or backwards through a target will allow you to go through it. Whereas forward will not. The entire after animation of Hastaludium is actually a super armor. All the way up until now. Show you once again. All SA. If you bind your WW to a hotkey, for example mine is bound to caps lock, it allows you to jump slash just like we used to be able to. without using any shield chase charges. This is called the echo walk, holding Q, holding space, and tapping whatever key you have your heavens echo bound to, for example mine is bound to three. It allows you to do a very quick forward movement but it's all unsafe. For this you also need Promptness unlocked, and you need Heaven's Echo unlocked. Now there's a very similar forward movement related to the one we just talked about, but instead you use Heaven's Echo first, then Spacebar, then Q. It looks a lot like this. And you can almost see how the lance disappears for a second when we do it. If I slow it down, you can actually see when the lance disappears. The faster you get at that, the faster you can move forward. And I feel that this is a little bit safer because you can choose when to stop. If the single echo dashes are something you don't like to do, you can always do left click space Q. Still just as good, a little bit slower, but just as good. Don't forget we also have the AD left click movement speed buff from Lancey Training 5. It's just a passive ability, you get this leveled up over time. Always reuse that movement speed buff, always, always, always. You always want that up before you do anything. While sitting in your Awakened Guard, you essentially have a super armor. It's technically increased resistance, but if you're sitting there in the middle of a field fight and you don't want to get CC'd, just put up your guard and sit there. Only grabs can CC you out of guard. Putting the 20% critical strike rate 
add-on to your celestial spear will essentially make it 100%. Critical rate plus 80, plus the 20 that you have from the add-on. One thing I love doing is exchanging frontal guards with an opponent, so I'll usually close the gap in some way, and then immediately use a just counter. If they happen to frontal guard it, then we've only exchanged frontal guards. If they happen to not block it, then they've gotten CC'd. One thing that's very effective if your opponent is approaching you, Deathline Chase back into a sharp light. Most of the time they'll get CC'd, but if they don't, it's fine because you can just space bar back into Awakening. If you're fighting a Sork or a DK and you feel that they're about to Nocturne or Nightmare you, you can do one of three things. You can shift right click for the SA and avoid getting CC'd by the Nocturne or the Nightmare. Or you can F jump and try to time it and wait for them to come out. And when they do come out, all you need to do is turn your camera. Don't turn your character, just turn your camera around and wait for them to pop out. As soon as they pop out, go for the grab. In most cases, most classes that you fight are going to be a lot faster than you. So you won't always have the option of walk up to them and grab. So, your primary catches are going to be Celestial Spear, Celestial Smite, Counter, which is S left click, and Just Counter, which is in pre awakened guard only, W left click. You have a couple options of down smashes when you grab your opponent, whether it be the Lucem Fluxum Flow, Divine Slam, or you can also use the Shift F pre awakened ability, which isn't reliable but it does down smash from time to time. But I would highly suggest just using. Divine Slam or Lucem Flux and Flow. You can also bind your Lucem Fluxum, which is a level 57 ability, I believe, to your hotbar so you can hard cast that ability on its own without having to use all of right click first. Another different type of engagement you could do is dash up to your opponent however you like, get up in their face and deathline chase backwards through them, and then go for a sharp light celestial spear, because we mentioned earlier that those abilities flow together very nicely, so you can get a free knockdown or a free bound using the celestial spear or the knockdown from sharp light. Dashing up to them, get up to them however you like, right in their face, turn your camera uh, 180, Deathline Chase back through them, Sharp Light, Celestial Spear, and then big damage. Another way I like to engage my opponents from time to time is something I like to call the Ghost Float. The Ghost Float basically is a float that actually hits your enemy, but they don't see. It's kind of like a drive-by float. So it's from right about this distance right here, just about this far. You Shield Chase after a camera turn about 90 degrees from your opponent. So turn your camera 90 degrees, shield chase, float, and right after that float, A or D right click. And you can go back into your uh, awakening with a promptness after that. It looks a lot like this. You almost didn't see the counter animation come out. It's a very useful tip, especially when fighting fast classes like DK or Sork, that can basically just teleport on you, so. It allows you to get back into your Awakening Guard very quickly without running the risk of getting CC'd and still playing aggressive enough to try and throw out CC's. If you F jump onto your target, you can camp Super Armor until they are done throwing out their CC's and then go for a free grab. Because the entire animation of F jump all the way up until you put your Lance back on the ground is Super Armor. Camping SA, camping SA, and go for the grab, don't miss. This one's kind of a silly one, but let's still go for it anyways. It's fun to use if you can find a place to use it. Absolute Flying Kick is actually a very high damaging ability if you have decent main hand AP. The way to capitalize on it is Celestial Spear, SF, and then hold right click. So you spam the kick. 
It's kind of silly, but it does a lot of damage for some reason. So, Celestial Spear, SF, hold right click. Just like this. But you need to make sure you have <laughs> Absolute Flying Kick unlocked. Back to the main entry so you can see. Here it is. Absolute Flying Kick. If for whatever reason you do like using it, uh, you have the option of using Judgment of Light even in PvP. It's a very slow casting ability naturally, but it does stun your opponent. And you can only use it from pre-awaken. You need to be in pre-awaken to use it. So you can speed cast this ability by holding left click or right click while casting it. And if it does hit your opponent, it is a stun, which is pretty, uh, pretty nutty. So just be sure to watch out for that or use it if you like. Sometimes I use it as well. Speedcasting Terra Sancta is still one of the fastest ways to get the ability off. Once again, I'll go over that real quick right here. So it's SE or Celestial Smite, whichever one you use. Wait for cooldowns. So it's Spear, Prompt, Q, and then Terra Sancta or whatever ability you use before uh, before promptness. But you need to make sure that you always block before the Terra Sanctum. It sounds weird, but the animation's gonna be very long and dragged out if you don't Q before Terra Sanctum. That's the most important part. You need to be sure to lightly tap Q, just so that when you're coming from the promptness, you do that. You essentially want the start of the block animation to begin, and that'll actually allow you to cancel or speedcast Terra Sancta. It shouldn't come out that fast, but with the speedcast, the Q tap after the promptness, it does. So just be sure to practice that, get that locked down because that's a very important min-max damage mechanic. But that's basically all the tips and tricks I can think of for the time being. I haven't really uh, thought of many other ones, I just... I just went over the things that I usually do today, but I thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Definitely come check out the stream sometime. And if you like this video, be sure to check out the rest. There's plenty more content just like this on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace, peace.